Hey guys, it's me, some guy. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a map for your gorilla type fan game using Pro Builder and you know. Or you can watch another tutorial like a T Bone tutorial which shows you how to make like a gorilla type map but instead of in Unity in Blender. So you can watch that tutorial if you want to make it in Blender instead. But today I'm gonna be teaching you how to use Pro Builder instead of Blender. So let's get into it. So last tutorial where we left off we added photon and the gorilla rig and like this cube so you could move around but instead of using this cube now a better map than just this shitty cube so let's delete that and then once you're here you want to click on this window and click on package manager once you're in package manager you'll probably be in this packages and it'll probably be in unity registry so if it doesn't just click on this and change it to unity registry. And once you're here you should see this. It's gonna say like 2D being a one up. So you wanna go to the search bar and type in Pro Builder. This is it. So you just click on install. And once that's done it'll say remove so you can just close out of this. And then up here right next to the window you'll see a new tab called tools. If you wanna click that and you wanna click on this Pro Builder. Then you click on Pro Builder window. And then these two things should pop up like this, which stays up here, and this Pro Builder thing. You can drag anywhere, like here for example, but I like putting it here right next to the inspector. And once you have the tab where you want it to be, in the Pro Builder tab, click on New Shape. Once you're here, you'll see this, uh, create this little tab right here. And instead of clicking on any of these, click on this one, right below the arc, which is usually always selected when you start it up. So you want to click on this, it's called a plan. And once that's done, you can just click wherever you want here. And then you just drag and it makes a little, little flat plane basically. And what's cool about this is that when you look under, it's completely gone. Kind of like in Gorilla Tag. And as you can see, now there's like four sides and then you want to go to the pro builder tab click on subdivide object I'm, I'm going to click it twice like that and once it's like that you'll see more lines in there however there was before and then you want to click on this second button on the pro builder tab that you can't move around uh, when it's in the scene you want to click it and then you'll see that now there's little cubes that you can select on this but I'm gonna go to the edges and round them out a bit, so they go like this. As you can see, it's more rounded. So I'm gonna do that real quick. You can use these other ones to make it more rounded if you want, like like that for example. But I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. now you want to click on the third tool up here the line tool as you can see then you'll see now there's like no cubes and if you hover your mouse over a line it shows it so I'm gonna just select the lines manually and so once you've selected the, the ones that are on the sides you do not want to select the ones that are in the middle once you've done that you want to switch to the move tool which is W on your keyboard or you can just click on this here then you hold shift and then you you hold this green arrow and then you drag it up and as you can see it builds a wall then you can just let go of shift and your mouse and you like go like that i'm gonna go like this and like kind of stretch it out a bit again there's gonna be like the, the ending wall so you like close it down so they can't escape the map like, like that or if you want you could do what capuchin doesn't add like a second base if you want to do that then you just 
switch to the skill tool, which is R on your keyboard. And shift, go like that. You can drag this up. Kind of close it down a bit. Like that. Then you hold shift again. And just like that, you have a second floor. You can get another wall. Hold it like that. Go like that. And now you have like capuchin the first floor and the second floor but i'm only gonna be doing one so i'm just gonna close it down like that i don't want to close it down too much like that i guess then you just add the grass like that basically and as you can see it like does some weird things it makes your nap look bad to fix that you just want to go to the direction light which is in the hierarchy then you switch to the rotate tool while you're holding the light. Oh, and by the way, in case the tool doesn't show up, you always have to be on this first tool right here, and then it'll show up. So to fix this bad lighting thing, I just rotate the sun thing. Good, I guess. You can't make it bigger. So. And once that's done, you have a pretty good looking map. By the way, I don't know how to add slippery walls, so you can just add like an invisible block. So, like they can't skip the map. So your players can like just wall jump their way out. And so once that's done, you have a pretty good looking map. And now to get your textures, to get your textures, I recommend going to this website called ambientcg.com uh, I'll have a link in the description they have good free textures so once you want once you see the texture you want just click on it just download it then you extract it once you extract the texture folder I'm gonna go to this one ground you'll see these and you want to click on every single one of them have look like this but just different textures the one you want to drag into Unity is the one that says, that looks like the texture and it says color. So, you want to drag, you want to drag this, or if you've got another grass texture, extract it and make sure it says color and then you drag it into Unity. So, for example, I'm going to grab this one and then drag it into Unity. And then I'm going to drag this one into Unity because it says color. Once you have the textures you want in assets, I recommend making the Folder, so you right click, create, folder, I'm going to call it materials, double click, and then you just want to import your assets. And so once you've done that, you should have these two. Now, right now they're like squares and you don't want it to be like that, so to make them like circles, because normal materials are just spheres, they're like that, which means they're usable. These are just pictures, so you want to drag it into your model, like grass or dirt, and just drag another one, and then a new folder called materials is made. And as you can see now, they're like spheres. Now, you can do this if you want to, because I don't like how it has like those little light reflections. So I select both, and then put the smoothness all the way down, and it becomes more like solid. And so now, Using the fourth tool on the toolbar, you want to select the part. You want to select the part that's gonna have that specific material. So for me, I'm gonna do the grass first. So I'm just select the grass. Then you click on the Pro Builder tab up here, Material Editor. Then you drag in the texture that you want into this quick material box. Click Apply. Kind of view get out of the fourth tool. As you can see now, it applies onto that. And that surface only. You did the same, so, so just do the same thing. I did for the first texture. And once you're done, like with the textures, as you can see, it looks like the texture looks really small, and you can see it like you can tell it's duplicating because like that. So you want to click on the texture and click on tiling. And the X and Y, I recommend putting it at 0.5 by 0.5. 
it makes it less obvious that it's uh, stretching out and like duplicating. We'll do that for both textures. And like that, it looks good. You can't really tell that it's duplicating unless you're far away. And if you're far away, you can still tell it's duplicating, but if you're close up, you can really tell. And for the final step of this, if you want to add like a hallway or something, uh, click wherever you want on the wall, or it can be a ground, like a vent or something. Like capuchins, like old capuchins entrance to whore. I'm just gonna make it on this wall. And if it's too short, or just like too tall like this, you just go to Pro Builder. If it's tall, you just click subdivide. Then using the line tool, you grab the, the line that's in the middle, you expand it. And then you should get like a bigger wall, basically. I'm gonna use this tool, or this uh, surface, and then grab the line tool, make it a bit taller, like that. Come back to the fourth tool, and you wanna do what you did with the wall, you hold shift, and you use this blue arrow to drag it out, and it makes a little, makes a hallway. To like have the point where your map is, I'm gonna make it like that. I recommend making the hallways like long so you can add like a map deloader. It's like an invisible wall that loads in one map and deloads the other for less lag. I'll make a tutorial on that someday. So I recommend I recommend making it long so like players can't see the map actually disappear. Because some games do it. So I feel like that's good around here. And I put this here. And now, to make a room, I see people like make a whole different plane, like a whole different shape. But all you have to do is just click on the screen to shift, and drag it out however much you want. Click on the side, green tool, shift. And like that, you made a room. And to not make it like connected with the other map, you select the whole map itself that you made. And then you go to the Pro Builder tab and you click on Detach Faces. And if you go back to the first tool, you'll see it's not a part of the hallway. And you can do the same thing for the hallway so like the hallway doesn't disappear with the other map. And then you can like add a different texture, but I'm not gonna do that. And so yeah, that's how you make a map with Pro Builder. It's too fucking complicated, and I blame that on me because I don't know how to fucking explain shit basically. And so yeah, you can make more hallways or like a hallway that goes down like to Putin's old horror. And so yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, next tutorial, it'll be um, how to add a um, a name computer, so you can finally add a name to like your player model, basically. Like goodbye gamers.